In a world bombarded with relentless noise and rush, the challenge of making an impactful, lasting impression can seem overwhelming. However, what if the secret to captivating others lies not in the volume of your words, but in the nuances of your presence? This video invites you to explore the art of subtle charisma, an approach that ensures you are both seen and remembered, even in the most serene environments. We will explore practices and habits that underscore the essence of genuine authenticity, nonverbal cues, personal aesthetics, the ideal selection of scents, sophisticated manners, and much more. All designed to naturally enhance your distinctiveness in an understated yet profoundly attractive manner. If your goal is to heighten your charm effortlessly and silently, you're in the perfect place. Now is the time to engage with these life-altering habits and absorb wisdom that will alter how others perceive and experience your presence. Before we begin our journey into the world of unspoken allure, please subscribe to the channel and activate notifications. This ensures you don't miss out on our specially tailored content aimed at enriching your life and deepening your relationships. Are you prepared to elevate your presence to unforgettable levels? Let's get started. The delicate balance of sharing and concealing. In the intricate dynamics of personal relationships, how much we choose to share about ourselves is a subtle art that balances openness with the preservation of our inner sanctum. Opting to maintain a certain mystique is not about playing games with the truth, but about carefully curating our personal narrative, allowing our revelations to unfold gradually, like a gentle stream, revealing its depths over time. This strategic disclosure protects our vulnerabilities while simultaneously sparking curiosity and interest. Unlike the pitfalls of total transparency, which can dilute the essence of true connection, a measured unveiling invites exploration and deeper engagement. It hints at deeper layers waiting to be discovered, promising richer interactions and insights as the relationship develops. Selectively sharing information is a thoughtful approach to relationship building, where each divulged detail adds a stone to the foundation of trust. This method encourages relationships to evolve naturally, fostering a growing and deepening interest that enhances the allure and complexity of the connection. Thus, cultivating an aura of mystery is not about deceit. Rather, it celebrates the complexity of human nature. It recognizes that we are beings of many layers, each rich with history and nuances that are best appreciated over time. This approach not only respects personal boundaries and emotional space, but also treasures the gradual process of mutual discovery, which is essential to deep intimacy. By keeping some aspects of ourselves private, we keep the dialogue flowing and the interest alive. This interplay between disclosure and discovery adds a dynamic of depth and intrigue to relationships, maintaining attraction and promoting a deeper mutual respect and understanding as each new facet is thoughtfully revealed. The power of humor, lightening life's heavier moments. Humor holds a pivotal role in forging human connections, acting not just as a mere embellishment in conversation, but as a vital bridge that connects people. It serves as a powerful solvent that can dissolve the barriers we build around ourselves, be it from shyness, reticence, or discomfort in social gatherings. Integrating humor into our interactions doesn't only ease the flow of communication, but also injects warmth and life into our exchanges, fostering an atmosphere where authenticity and openness flourish. The charm of humor is in its universal appeal and its ability to be tailored to personal tastes. You don't need to be the life of the party to benefit from humor. Simple, timely comments and witty observations can lighten the mood, making you more likable and approachable. Appropriate humor aims to uplift and unite, celebrating our shared follies and foibles rather than mocking them. Sharing a laugh can affirm connections, creating a mutual experience that lays the groundwork for deeper, lasting relationships. Thus, humor is not only an icebreaker, but also a cornerstone for growing companionship that people cherish. Individuals are naturally drawn to those who can inject levity and joy into their lives, particularly during challenging times marked by stress and anxiety. However, effective humor must resonate with the audience, crafted with a sensitive understanding of the context and respect for personal boundaries. It demands an astute assessment of the social setting 
and a grasp of what is considered acceptable, highlighting not only a person's social savvy, but also their consideration and respect for the feelings of others. Mastering the art of humor, when done thoughtfully and inclusively, greatly enhances the quality of social interactions and relationships. Championing authenticity, core to our human experience. Embracing authenticity is a unique journey that defines the very essence of our existence. More than a trait or a simple embellishment, authenticity is the ultimate demonstration of one's personal truth, a dynamic declaration of their fundamental beliefs and values. In this light, authenticity is not merely about being different, it's about courageously exploring one's depths and surfacing not with a facade fashioned by societal expectations, but with a genuine self, sculpted by personal experiences and intrinsic convictions. This path of self-exploration and affirmation is complex and challenging. It demands ongoing introspection and the boldness to stay true to oneself, even as the tempests of doubt and conformity beckon. Thus, authenticity serves as a powerful magnet, drawing to itself those who cherish honesty and depth, not just as lofty ideals, but as essential foundations for profound human connections. These relationships, established on mutual trust and respect, go beyond superficial exchanges, fostering environments of safety and opportunities for collective growth and enrichment. When sincerity is reflected in one's actions and interactions, it not only solidifies one's reputation, but also redefines societal influence. True influence is not quantified by followers or fleeting fame, but by the profound and enduring effect one can have on the lives of others, motivating them to pursue their authentic selves. Refining non-verbal communication, the unspoken art of interaction. In the expansive realm of human relations, communication extends beyond words, exploring the profound seas of the unspoken. Non-verbal communication, consisting of a symphony of body postures, facial expressions, gestures and eye contacts, serves as a silent reflection of the soul, revealing our innermost emotions and intentions, as well as our openness to the external environment. Posture, the cornerstone of non-verbal cues, communicates volumes silently. A poised and open posture not only elevates our own confidence, but also signals strength and a willingness to engage, encouraging positive interactions. Facial expressions, quick snapshots of our emotional state, act as conduits for empathy, enhancing the understanding of our feelings and attitudes. Eye contact, meanwhile, forms a direct soulful connection, conveying honesty, interest and respect. Mastering eye contact, avoiding both shyness and confrontation, is essential for fostering meaningful relationships symbolizing complete engagement and attentive presence. Adjusting and honing these non-verbal cues is an art that demands not only self-awareness, but also an acute sensitivity to the subtleties of human exchange. This refinement isn't about altering how others perceive us, but about improving the authenticity of our engagement in the world, aligning our outward signals with our inner values. By coordinating our non-verbal communication with our true intentions, we enhance our authenticity and thus become more compelling and accessible to others. This endeavor is not a finite goal, but a perpetual process of self-discovery and modification, where every gesture, glance and expression is a chance to connect more profoundly with others and ourselves. Perfecting nonverbal communication is thus a practice in empathy and sincerity, a balanced approach to clearly expressing our true selves while inviting the world to connect openly and genuinely. Fostering empathy and compassion in relationships. At the core of human connections, empathy and compassion stand as crucial elements, intricate threads binding us to one another. Empathy, the capacity to vicariously experience the feelings of another and to see the world from their perspective, provides the rich soil from which compassion grows. Together, these traits not only draw people closer, but also forge a sanctuary where emotions are exchanged freely and vulnerabilities are embraced as avenues for deeper connection. Exhibiting empathy and compassion celebrates our shared human condition, acknowledging the trials, triumphs and tribulations that sculpt our collective experiences. When we offer our understanding and support, we not only acknowledge the emotions of others, but also reassure them that they are not alone in their journey. 
This empathetic engagement reinforces bonds, establishing foundations of trust and intimacy strong enough to weather any adversity. The nurturing presence of empathy and compassion illuminates our ability to develop significant relationships. Here, significant transcends the ordinary, embodying a bond built on mutual support, unconditional acceptance and collaborative growth. It reflects a mutual yearning to be understood, appreciated and loved, and demonstrates that through empathy and compassion, we can extend and receive these fundamental human needs. Empathy and compassion are more than laudable attributes. They are active practices integrated into the fabric of our daily interactions. They compel us to look beyond our immediate concerns, to listen for both the spoken and the unspoken, and to act not from duty but from a sincere wish to mitigate the pain of others. These practices challenge us to transform every encounter into a moment of connection, fostering a world enriched by our collective care and understanding. The essential practice of self-care. In the intricate web of daily life, filled with its demands and challenges, self-care stands as a crucial pillar of self-respect and resilience. Far from being a luxury or simple indulgence, self-care is a vital necessity. Recognizing the importance of sustaining balance and harmony within ourselves, both physically and mentally. Prioritizing self-care equips us to handle life's complexities with poise and strength. Taking good care of oneself includes a variety of practices, from ensuring proper nutrition and engaging in regular physical exercise to embracing moments of stillness and reflective introspection. These practices, though simple, are profound affirmations of self-worth, underlining a commitment to maintaining one's health and overall well-being. This dedication manifests in enhanced health mood and vitality, which are key to a charismatic and engaging presence. Physical self-care replenishes the body, enabling it to operate at peak efficiency, while mental self-care nurtures a tranquil internal environment, allowing for the growth of self-acceptance and positivity. The synergy between mind and body reflects outwardly in a radiant appearance and a vibrant aura, naturally drawing others towards us and fostering connections. Thus, Self-care transcends mere personal upkeep. It is a proactive declaration of our journey towards continuous personal growth and self-enhancement. By committing to self-care, we not only affirm our own value, but also actively participate in living a rich, dynamic life. Moreover, self-care serves as an inspiration, encouraging others to also prioritize their well-being. In a culture often plagued by burnout and neglect of personal health, Embracing self-care is a transformative act, pushing towards a more sustainable ethos of wellness and joy. Through diligent self-care, we benefit not just individually, but collectively, helping forge a community where health and vitality are cherished. In essence, embracing self-care is key to unlocking a fuller, more meaningful life for ourselves and setting a precedent for communal well-being. It's not just about personal maintenance, but about enhancing the quality of life for all, making it an integral aspect of a fulfilled and interconnected existence. The strategic art of selective sharing. In the intricate web of human relationships, the practice of sharing personal details is a delicate art poised between true openness and maintaining a personal, sacred space. Opting to keep a certain level of mystery isn't about playing games with honesty, but making a thoughtful decision to craft one's personal story with precision and care, allowing revelations to unfold gradually, like a gentle stream revealing its course. This judicious choice in disclosure not only protects our vulnerabilities, but also sparks curiosity and genuine interest. Unlike complete transparency, which can sometimes weaken the bond by overwhelming or diluting mystery, a reserved approach invites deeper exploration. It hints that beyond what is openly known lies more to be discovered, promising richer experiences and insights as connections develop. Selective sharing is thus a natural element of relationship building. Each shared personal detail lays down a foundational stone of trust. This method of slow and intentional revelation allows relationships to grow at their own rhythm, fostering a mutual curiosity that evolves and enriches the interaction over time. The true magnetic pull lies not in the volume of information shared, 
but in the quality and depth of the evolving connection. Hence, fostering a sense of mystery is far from deceit. It is a celebration of human depth. It recognizes that everyone has multifaceted layers, rich with history and complexity, which cannot be fully understood in just one sitting or conversation. This approach not only safeguards personal integrity and emotional space, but also appreciates the gradual, rewarding journey of getting to know someone, placing great value on the shared process of discovery that is central to deep, meaningful relationships. Furthermore, by maintaining an element of intrigue, the ongoing exchange remains vibrant, sustaining interest and engagement. This dynamic of reveal and conceal, of both knowing and being known, deepens relational ties, adding layers that not only maintain interest but also enhance mutual respect and understanding as each new facet is thoughtfully explored. Mastering the art of presence, in our rapidly moving lives filled with endless distractions and a continuous chase for productivity, the ability to be truly present marks a sanctuary of authenticity and connection. Being present involves more than just being physically in a space. It encompasses a full immersion into the moment, dedicating undivided attention to the people we are with. This complete devotion to the present is an expression of value, a quiet yet profound acknowledgement that the time and experiences shared hold significant worth. In an age where attention is often fragmented, practicing presence acts as a bold counteraction, a revival of the core aspects of human interaction. It involves not only hearing the words spoken, but also sensing the emotions behind them, understanding the unspoken, and recognizing our collective human experience. Active listening is more than simply hearing words. It is a dynamic engagement, an exchange full of energy that affirms the other person, making them feel completely acknowledged and understood. This approach to communication serves to build bridges, dismantle barriers, and deepen relationships. When individuals feel genuinely heard, it creates an environment of trust and openness, paving the way for connections that are deeper and more significant. Furthermore, the ability to maintain focus in conversations without succumbing to distractions, whether they be physical, like the lure of electronic devices, or mental, like constant thoughts of past or future events, demonstrates a deep respect and consideration. It shows a commitment to value not only the words exchanged, but also the time and attention of the other person, which are precious in our swift-moving world. Being present not only improves how we are perceived socially, making us appear more approachable and appealing, but it also enhances our internal life, allowing us to engage more deeply and mindfully with our experiences. By nurturing our ability to be present, we open ourselves to the nuances and richness of human interactions, discovering beauty and significance in the minutiae that often pass unnoticed. Elevating presence through refined manners. In the complex landscape of social interactions, etiquette and good manners are not just ceremonial relics, but vital tools that orchestrate interactions with subtlety and power. They form the unspoken language of respect and consideration, skillfully managing the intricacies of human relationships with dignity and grace. At its heart, etiquette is a manifestation of respect for others. It involves recognizing and accommodating other people's sensitivities, adjusting one's own behavior to enhance comfort and promote well-being in social settings. This attunement to the nuances of social exchanges not only ensures seamless interactions among diverse groups, but also fosters a more compassionate and respectful society. Therefore, embracing etiquette transcends mere adherence to traditional norms. It signifies personal sophistication and a keen sensitivity to the dynamics of communal living. Individuals noted for their manners are viewed as champions of social grace, earning respect and admiration that enhance their relationships and expand their social opportunities. Practicing refined manners is more than a means to social allure. It is a reflection of inner elegance and a heartfelt commitment to making every social environment better for all. It showcases a person's character, a depth that goes beyond superficial charm to resonate with the core values of human interaction. Thus, excelling in etiquette is more than a social strategy. It is a call to ponder our role in nurturing a more gracious and thoughtful world. 
It is a personal endeavor to deepen our appreciation of mutual respect and empathy, setting a standard for interactions. That is not only about being said, but being remembered for our grace and integrity. This journey enriches not only our own lives, but also the lives of everyone around us, elevating the very essence of community and connection. Cultivating a rich literary perspective, diving into a vast ocean of letters and ideas, the cultivation of a literary culture represents an unending voyage across distant realms, historical epochs, and diverse viewpoints. Engaging deeply with literature, languages, and current global discussions equips us not merely with facts, but with the essential perspectives needed to appreciate the full spectrum of human diversity. This exploration is more than just the passive absorption of stories or factual data. It is an ongoing conversation with the world, creating deep, intimate connections with the myriad aspects of human life. Fostering a curious intellect, one that revels in unearthing new ideas and grasping the subtleties of various cultures and languages, is akin to tuning a soul to resonate with the broad harmonies of existence. Having a well-rounded knowledge on a wide array of topics is not simply about showing off one's learning, but demonstrates a profound respect for the complexity of the world and the varied voices that populate it. It acknowledges that every culture, language and piece of news adds a vital segment to the comprehensive picture of global understanding. Such respect and openness not only enrich the texture of our dialogues, making them more colorful and layered, but also widen our empathetic reach, enabling us to adopt viewpoints outside our own direct experiences. Incorporating this varied knowledge into our daily interactions doesn't just capture the interest of those we speak with, but also builds bridges across gaps of misunderstanding and unawareness. Each discussion becomes a chance to exchange and explore, a venue where a shared respect for diversity fosters collective growth. The intellectual allure generated from this isn't just from flaunting knowledge, but from the capacity to actively engage, inquire, and collaboratively ponder the intricate world mosaic. Therefore, nurturing a literary culture is not only about enriching personal intellect, but also about preparing oneself for informed global citizenship. This endeavor makes us not only more engaging and knowledgeable conversationalists, but also more well-rounded individuals, equipped to appreciate and navigate the world's diversity with an enhanced sensitivity to its cultural richness and the vast expanse of human experience. Crafting identity through style, the silent dialogue of apparel. Fashion emerges as a profound avenue for self-expression where every piece of clothing, every hue, and every texture in narratives, a segment of the wearer's identity. In the world of fashion, dressing becomes more than just a superficial act of vanity or conformity. It is an intimate exchange with the world, a non-verbal method of conveying one's unique essence. Within this framework, fashion surpasses its basic function of merely clothing the body, evolving into a personal dialect, a visual vocabulary, made up of choices that signify not only a person's character, but also their life stories, beliefs, and principles. Hence, selecting attire is not driven by the urge to comply with passing fads, but by the purposeful desire to declare one's identity to the world, to articulate through fabric and design the depth and complexity of one's inner self. Choosing outfits that complement your body type and reflect your personality is not merely a statement of self-endorsement, but a practice in self-awareness and confidence. By sensing your external appearance with your internal truth, you authentically introduce yourself to the world and attract people and opportunities that align with your true nature. This congruence fosters a visible harmony between essence and appearance, solidifying self-awareness and enhancing your presence. Furthermore, as a medium of expression, fashion provides boundless opportunities for experimentation and self-discovery, enabling individuals to test various aspects of their persona and engage with the diverse identities that comprise their self. Each selection, each innovative mix, each burst of color or pattern not only narrates a tale, but also challenges onlookers to uncover the profound narrative behind the ensemble, fostering a deeper and more intricate understanding of the person within the attire. The art of being fully engaged. In our fast-paced world filled with distractions, and a relentless drive for efficiency, 
the practice of being genuinely present emerges as a profound touchstone of authenticity and connection. Being present transcends mere physical existence in a location. It involves a deep immersion in the current moment, dedicating complete attention to those around us. Such commitment to the present is an expression of value. It silently communicates that the time and experiences shared are important. In today's era, where attention is often divided, choosing to be fully present becomes a powerful act of resistance, a reclaiming of the fundamental aspects of human connection. True listening involves more than processing words. It includes understanding the emotions beneath them and acknowledging our shared human experiences. Active listening is a dynamic engagement, an energetic exchange that makes the other person feel acknowledged and valued fully. This type of interaction fosters trust and openness, paving the way for more meaningful and deep connections. It breaks barriers and builds bridges, enriching relationships in profound ways. Moreover, being able to converse without succumbing to distractions, whether technological distractions like phones or mental preoccupations about past or future events, demonstrates a high level of respect and care. It shows a commitment to not only the conversation, but also to valuing the time and presence of others, a precious commodity in our hurried lives. Being fully present not only improves how we are perceived socially, making us more approachable and appealing, but it also deepens our internal experience of life. It allows us to savor interactions more richly and notice the beauty and significance in the details that might otherwise be missed. The value of selective availability. In the intricate dance of human relationships, mastering the balance between accessibility and the need for personal space is key to fostering healthy and impactful connections. This equilibrium is not about creating artificial scarcity. It's a sincere act of honoring your own time and energy, recognizing that your presence, both physical and emotional, is a limited and valuable commodity. Opting not to be available at all times is an expression of self-respect and establishes boundaries that safeguard your well-being. It enhances the value perceived by others regarding your time and presence, cultivating a sense of appreciation and anticipation in your relationships. Each moment shared becomes more significant and profoundly enriching when it is clear that your availability is a conscious choice. Thus, the art of balancing accessibility with independence involves careful consideration and intentionality. It's about valuing interpersonal connections while also respecting your own need for growth, reflection and personal renewal. Achieving this balance not only betters the quality of your interactions, but also bolsters your self-esteem and independence, crucial for developing an authentic and appealing presence. Moreover, managing how available you are encourages others to consider the significance of respecting and valuing another person's time and energy. This fosters a reciprocal respect and a culture where personal boundaries are appreciated. Enhancing the overall quality of relationships, in this environment, each person's time is viewed as a precious gift not a perpetual entitlement. We hope this discussion inspires you as much as we enjoyed presenting it. Now we'd love to hear your thoughts. What strategies will you implement to maintain your allure while respecting your boundaries? Comment below, share your insights, and if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more on nurturing your unique charm. Explore the recommended videos on your screen to continue your journey of self-discovery. Have you ever felt overwhelmed by intense emotions or caught in a whirlwind of negative thoughts? What if I told you that Stoicism, a time-honored philosophy, could guide you through these challenging times? Marcus Aurelius once stated, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. This profound insight marks the beginning of a significant change in your life. Join us as we explore Stoic lessons that offer more than guidance they provide a way of life. Equipped with courage and stable emotions, these lessons will help you manage your feelings and remain calm through life's challenges. Welcome to How to Get Rid of Negative Thoughts Using Stoicism, Your Path to Inner Peace. Lesson 1. Embracing change as a constant in life. Change is the only constant in life. Everything around us is in flux, from the changing seasons to the continual renewal of the cells in our bodies. Although change is inevitable, 
many of us resist it due to fear of the unknown, preferring to cling to the familiar and safe. The Stoics teach us to embrace, not just accept, change as a necessary part of life. Acknowledging that things evolve should not cause fear or anxiety. Instead, it should foster gratitude and encourage us to live in the present. Imagine if everything were permanent. The people you love would never leave. Your current circumstances would never shift. And every moment, whether of joy or pain, would last forever. This might seem ideal at first, but it would ultimately lead to complacency and stagnation. Awareness of change brings color, depth and dynamism to life. It reminds us that each moment, experience and relationship is precious and fleeting. This understanding urges us to savor the beauty of a sunset, enjoy laughter with friends and express love openly, knowing these chances may not come again. The Stoic view of impermanence also includes the challenges and setbacks we face it's natural to feel defeated and overwhelmed during tough times. However, the knowledge that this too shall pass can be comforting. Just as storm clouds eventually break, so too will our problems and challenges dissipate. This insight helps us to navigate life's storms and emerge stronger. How then do we embrace impermanence in everyday life? It starts with changing our perspective. We need not resist change, but can learn to flow with it like a river that bends and curves along its path. We can develop a healthy detachment from material possessions and external conditions, recognizing their transient nature. And we should be grateful for the lessons and opportunities that each change in our journey brings. Being open to the dynamic nature of life is much like dancing in tune with its rhythms. By fully engaging with the ever-shifting landscape and finding joy and meaning in each new experience, we can live more fully and resiliently. Lesson two, mastering what's within your control. Have you ever been caught in a life storm, not of rain and thunder, but one filled with unexpected events, disappointments or sudden changes? The stoic principle of the dichotomy of control offers a lifeline during such turbulence. Consider this scenario. You're organizing an outdoor event and it suddenly rains. You cannot control the weather but your reaction to the rain is entirely within your control. You might choose to be upset or alternatively find a solution, such as moving the event indoors or embracing the change in plans. Epictetus, a Stoic philosopher who rose from slavery to significant intellectual stature, taught that some things are in our control and others not. This straightforward idea encapsulates a deep wisdom that can transform our lives. Daily, we encounter situations that we can influence, like the books we read, the company we keep, and our routines. However, many aspects, such as global events, the actions of others, the passage of time, and the weather, are beyond our control. Here's where Stoic philosophy becomes practical. Stoics believe our happiness is determined not by external events themselves, but by our responses to them. Our emotions stem from our perceptions. Recall a challenging moment such as a job rejection. At the time, it seemed wholly negative, but in retrospect, you might view it as a hidden blessing that opened doors to new opportunities or personal growth. So how do we apply this in real life? Start by asking yourself, can I control this? If yes, take action. If not, see it as an opportunity to practice acceptance and adaptability. Embracing this principle liberates us from unnecessary distress. Understanding that we cannot control the wind, but can adjust our sails, we navigate life with serenity. The dichotomy of control shines a guiding light in a chaotic world, reminding us to focus our energy where it will be most effective, and to find peace in accepting what we cannot change. Lesson 3. Cultivating Gratitude for Inner Peace Gratitude is a powerful yet simple practice that can profoundly alter our perspective of the world, it involves recognizing and appreciating the positives in our lives, particularly during challenging times. Stoic philosophy heralds gratitude as a path to inner peace and satisfaction, emphasizing the joy found in the present by appreciating what we have. But why is gratitude essential and how do we practice it? Gratitude extends beyond significant acts of kindness or rare occurrences. It is found in life's simple joys the warmth of sunlight on your skin, the laughter of a child or the scent of your favorite meal. 
Appreciating these moments underscores their significance. Stoics recommend contemplating the impermanence of these joys, imagining life without them. What if you could no longer experience the sun's warmth or hear a loved one's laughter? This practice of negative visualization is not about fostering sadness but enhancing our appreciation of the present. It teaches us to see everyday aspects we often overlook as precious gifts. Gratitude also transforms our approach to difficulties. It's easy to succumb to negativity when faced with challenges, but maintaining a grateful mindset helps us remain resilient and hopeful. For instance, if you're ill, you might feel grateful for the support of family, the expertise of healthcare workers, and the opportunity for recovery. Focusing on these grateful points allows us to find strength and happiness amid adversity. So how can we integrate gratitude into our daily lives? Start simply by identifying what you're thankful for. Dedicate a moment each day to reflect on these aspects, which could be captured in a journal, a mental inventory or a conversation. Aim for specificity in your practice. Rather than a general, I'm thankful for my family, pinpoint particular reasons or moments that evoke this gratitude. Engaging regularly in these practices can develop habits that shift your outlook, enhance your well-being, and help you achieve a deeper contentment with life. Lesson 4. Learning to maintain impartiality in an emotional world. In a society that often thrives on emotional reactions, the idea of practicing dispassion might seem out of place. However, it's important to understand what dispassion truly means and how it can be transformative. Dispassion isn't about concealing your emotions or detaching from the events around you. Rather, it's about achieving tranquility amidst chaos. Imagine facing life's challenges without feeling overwhelmed by external events or your own emotions. Reflect on a recent movie that captivated you. There were likely moments of tension, excitement and sadness. Despite your engagement with the story, you remained aware that it was just a movie. You didn't feel the need to intervene. While you experienced the emotions portrayed, you maintained a certain distance. The Stoics promote a similar approach to life. They teach us to be conscious of our emotional responses, how they arise and subside, without letting them dominate our actions. Consider an everyday example. If someone cuts you off in traffic, it's normal to feel irritated or even angry. Mm. Through dispassion, you can acknowledge these feelings without letting them control you, recognize the emotions, observe them impartially, and then let them pass, much like clouds moving across the sky. This practice doesn't make you passive or uncaring. Instead, it gives you greater command over your reactions. Dispassion allows us to respond rather than react. Faced with a difficult situation, instead of succumbing to impulse, we can step back, evaluate our options, and think clearly. This capacity to pause and reflect prevents us from being carried away by the heat of the moment, enabling us to make better decisions and take constructive actions. Moreover, dispassion involves how we respond to external situations beyond our control. When a global crisis unfolds or a personal tragedy strikes, it's natural to feel a range of emotions. By practicing dispassion, we can approach these situations with calm and poise, choosing not to be overwhelmed by despair or hopelessness. This approach doesn't imply that we are unfeeling or indifferent, rather it shows a commitment to maintaining our peace of mind amidst life's storms. Ultimately, dispassion acts like an anchor, keeping us steady in turbulent times. It empowers us to address problems with fortitude and grace. It strengthens us, enabling us to be a source of support for ourselves and others. It reminds us that, although experiencing emotions is a natural part of being human, we have the ability to rise above them and remain composed in the face of adversity. Lesson 5. Building resilience to weather life's challenges. Resilience is our ability to recover from difficulties, adapt to change, and keep going in the face of adversity. This trait is crucial as it marks the difference between succumbing to life's challenges and emerging stronger. The Stoics, ancient philosophers known for their practical wisdom, valued resilience highly. They believed that by strengthening our inner resolve, we could face any hardship with courage and poise. But how do we foster resilience in real life? The initial step in building resilience is to shift how we view challenges. Instead of seeing obstacles as mere hindrances, 
we can view them as valuable opportunities to learn and grow. Whenever you encounter a setback, ask yourself, what can I learn from this experience? How can this challenge make me stronger? By reframing difficulties in this way, you empower yourself to face them with determination and resilience. Another critical element of resilience is the ability to manage stress and regulate our emotional responses. The Stoics promoted practices such as mindfulness and meditation to develop a sense of inner calm and emotional stability. These techniques allow us to remain composed and centered even during turbulent times, ensuring that we can make thoughtful decisions and respond appropriately to the situation at hand. Resilience also requires the capacity to handle change and uncertainty gracefully. Life is constantly evolving and our plans may need to be flexible. Stoicism teaches us to avoid clinging too tightly to specific outcomes or resisting the inevitable flux of life. Instead, embracing life's variability helps us stay aligned with our core values while fluidly navigating through changes. This adaptability allows us to face the unknown with confidence rather than fear. Finally, resilience is significantly strengthened by our connections with others. Having a supportive network of friends, family or mentors can provide crucial support and direction during tough times. One effective way to build resilience is to openly discuss your challenges and seek assistance when needed. Engaging with your community not only helps mitigate the burden of adversity, but also reinforces your ability to manage stress and maintain emotional balance. In essence, resilience involves developing the inner resources needed to confront and overcome adversity. With resilience, you can approach life's storms with courage and elegance, assured that you possess the robustness to survive and thrive no matter what challenges you face. Lesson 6. The Power of Pausing to Reflect In today's culture where immediacy and rapid responses are prized, the art of thoughtful reflection might seem outdated. Yet, taking the time to think critically before acting remains an essential practice, particularly when facing significant life decisions. Consider a scenario where you receive unexpected news that a close friend has been spreading rumors about you. Your initial reaction might be to confront them angrily or cut ties immediately. However, by choosing to pause and reflect, you give yourself space to process your emotions and consider the situation more deeply. This pause allows you to approach the conversation with your friend from a place of calm and clarity, potentially saving a valuable relationship and understanding the context better. Reflection isn't merely about suppressing immediate reactions, it's about being fully present with our emotions and thoughts. It involves deep questions like, why does this betrayal hurt? Are my feelings intensified by past betrayals? Is my desire to lash out based on just the current incident? Or is it a cumulative response influenced by previous hurts? Taking a moment to reflect also helps us see the perspective of others. Perhaps your friend was going through a personal crisis and made a poor decision in a moment of weakness. Considering these factors can transform your approach from one of confrontation to one of dialogue and reconciliation. This practice is incredibly beneficial in maintaining and enhancing relationships. Many conflicts could be resolved if individuals took the time to think before reacting. Reflective thinking encourages us to choose our words carefully, promoting understanding and empathy, thereby strengthening our connections with others. In professional settings, leaders who reflect before making decisions are seen as wise and considerate attributes that garner respect and loyalty from peers and subordinates. Such leaders tend to make well-considered, sustainable decisions that stand the test of time. Ultimately, embracing reflection is a countermeasure against the relentless pace of modern life. It's a powerful statement of our refusal to be swept up in the currents of snap judgments and impulsive reactions. By committing to reflective practice, we prioritize our mental well-being, enhance our happiness, and engage more respectfully with others. Reflecting before we act is not just a practical approach. It is a deep philosophical commitment that values depth over haste, understanding over impulsivity, and lasting relationships over fleeting interactions. This inward journey profoundly affects our external actions and shapes the overall structure of our lives. Lesson 7. 
gaining perspective. Will this matter in five years? Throughout our lives, we face numerous tests of our patience, strength, and perspective, from minor irritations like spilling coffee to more significant disputes with loved ones, our days are filled with events that provoke a wide range of emotions. In the heat of the moment, it's easy to become consumed by our immediate reactions, missing a deadline, receiving critical feedback, or forgetting a significant date can feel catastrophic. However, asking ourselves, will this matter in five years, can profoundly shift our perspective. This question propels us into the future and then brings us back to the present, allowing us to reevaluate our current predicament. Suddenly, that intense argument or missed opportunity is seen in a different light. Most issues that seem critical now will likely fade into minor footnotes in the larger narrative of our lives. Reflect on the challenges and stresses you faced five years ago. How many of them still impact you today? How many have been eclipsed by new experiences, knowledge, and personal growth? This perspective is both humbling and liberating. Regularly contemplating this question helps us prioritize and distinguish between fleeting inconveniences and issues with long-lasting implications. A difficult day at work may feel overwhelming now, but in the grand context of a decades-long career, it is just a brief moment. Adopting this long-term perspective also enhances our resilience. Keeping the bigger picture in mind aids us in navigating current problems more effectively. Faced with adversity, we need not fixate on the immediate hurdles. Instead, we can strategize, adapt and progress comforted by the knowledge that time often brings clarity and resolution. But the value of this question extends beyond minimizing our current worries. It compels us to consider what truly matters. If we want our actions and choices to have significant years down the line, investing in relationships, personal growth and meaningful experiences is crucial. Asking, will this matter in five years? allows us to lead lives enriched with purpose, perspective and tranquility. In a world preoccupied with the immediate, this question anchors us, helping us gracefully manage life's fluctuations. It encourages us to focus our energies on what genuinely matters, ensuring that we live not just for the moment, but for the meaningful future we aspire to create. Lesson 8. Transforming Problems into Opportunities for Growth in life, we encounter a spectrum of problems, from minor annoyances to major global challenges. These difficulties are a natural part of the human experience. While it can be tough to face these issues, adopting a perspective that views them as opportunities can profoundly change how we handle them. The Stoics offered a robust framework for dealing with life's challenges. They believed that while we may not have control over the events that happen to us, we do have control over our perceptions and reactions by shifting our viewpoint, what were once obstacles become avenues for learning. Marcus Aurelius, a renowned Stoic philosopher, elegantly captured this idea with his statement, what stands in the way becomes the way. Consider a river that encounters a boulder. The river doesn't halt. Instead, it either finds a path around the rock or slowly erodes it, ultimately altering its course. Initially, the boulder appears as a mere hindrance but it ultimately redirects the river's path. Similarly, we can view the challenges in our lives as catalysts for change that lead to unexpected outcomes. For instance, being laid off is undoubtedly painful, yet it can open the door to exploring new career possibilities, acquiring different skills, or even starting a business. Likewise, the end of a relationship, while heartbreaking, might pave the way for personal development and more significant more profound relationships in the future. This stoic perspective not only helps us navigate difficulties, but also strengthens us. When we view problems as opportunities to learn and evolve, we adopt a more resilient and proactive mindset. Instead of asking, why is this happening to me? We start asking, what can I learn from this? How can this experience refine my character and enhance my life? Embracing this mindset doesn't mean we seek out problems, or overlook the real issues at hand. It involves recognizing that within every problem lies potential, a chance to improve, to innovate, and to grow. Nurturing this seed of opportunity with optimism, patience, and perseverance allows us to transform challenges into stepping stones for personal development, wisdom, and ultimate happiness. 
Lesson 9. Aligning life with your values. Living in accordance with your values involves making decisions that reflect what is most important to you. It requires identifying your core values and committing to them in every aspect of your life. The Stoics believed that true happiness and inner peace are achieved when our actions consistently mirror our values. The first step is to determine your fundamental values. These are the principles that guide your decisions and shape your life. Values like honesty, compassion, resilience, and integrity. Reflect on the moments in your life when you felt the most fulfilled and content. What were you doing? Who were you with? Analyzing these questions can help clarify what values are most important to you. Once you have identified your values, strive to make decisions that align with them, even when it's challenging. For instance, if honesty is a core value, commit to being truthful in all your interactions, even when lying might be easier. If compassion is important to you, seek ways to express kindness daily, whether it's through helping others or simply offering a listening ear. Consistently living according to your values requires awareness and self-reflection. Regularly evaluate your actions to ensure they align with your values. If you notice discrepancies, take responsibility and adjust your behavior accordingly. This alignment is not a one-time task, but an ongoing process that must evolve as you grow and change. Living in line with your values not only fosters personal happiness and peace, but also enhances your relationships with others. People who live consistently with their values tend to make decisions that not only benefit themselves, but also positively impact those around them, even during challenging times. Part of living according to your values is practicing dispassion. This involves staying calm and balanced, especially in a world overloaded with information and emotional stimuli. Dispassion doesn't mean being indifferent. It means being deeply engaged in life while also maintaining an emotional distance that prevents you from being swept away by every passing drama. To develop dispassion, begin by becoming more self-aware. Understand your emotional triggers and how they affect your responses. This awareness creates a buffer between stimulus and reaction, allowing you to choose your responses more consciously and align them with your values. In relationships, dispassion helps maintain neutrality during conflicts, facilitating more constructive and empathetic conversations. It enables you to listen better and respond rather than react, managing disagreements with grace and understanding. Living in a way that aligns with your values is not just about adhering to what you believe, it's about crafting a life that consistently reflects your deepest convictions and handling life's complexities with poise and purpose. By integrating stoic principles such as dispassion into daily life, you can navigate the world with stability and achieve lasting inner peace. This commitment to value-driven living makes every decision more meaningful and every interaction more fulfilling ultimately enriching your life and the lives of those around you. Lesson 10. Cultivating Gratitude Gratitude weaves a luminous thread through the tapestry of human emotions, enhancing moments of happiness, contentment, and perspective. The Stoics emphasize the intentional practice of gratitude, advocating for it to be a daily ritual that grounds us in the present and amplifies appreciation for life's gifts. Gratitude extends beyond the spontaneous expression of thank you. It involves a profound recognition of the people, experiences and circumstances that enrich our lives. It's about finding beauty in the mundane, learning from our challenges and valuing the impermanence that underscores life's worth. Seneca, a prominent Stoic philosopher, encapsulated this sentiment. True happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. This philosophy underlines the essence of gratitude, being fully immersed in the now and valuing each moment, interaction and experience. Consider the everyday blessings we often overlook, the warmth of the sun on a chilly day, the sound of laughter, sharing a meal with family, or the simple act of breathing. By acknowledging and appreciating these simple joys, we elevate their significance in our lives. Practicing gratitude also counteracts our tendencies to dwell on deficits, on unmet desires or future anxieties. By focusing on what we have, we foster contentment, reduce feelings of envy and resentment, and generally enhance our well-being. 
How can we enhance our practice of gratitude? A simple method involves jotting down three things you are grateful for each morning or evening. This habit gradually shifts your perspective, increasing receptiveness to positivity and fortitude in adversity. Moreover, gratitude strengthens relationships. Expressing thanks to others for their kindness, support or love not only deepens bonds, but also encourages a cycle of mutual appreciation and generosity. Ultimately, gratitude reminds us of the abundance present in our lives. In a society often obsessed with acquisition and achievement, it beckons us to savor the now, embrace life's offerings with open arms, and traverse our paths with a grateful heart. This approach doesn't just enhance personal happiness, it fundamentally transforms how we interact with the world and with others. Lesson 11. The Practice of Stoic Journaling Journaling has been lauded across various cultures and epochs not just as a method for recording daily events, but as a powerful tool for reflection, personal growth, and clarity. The Stoics, with their deep commitment to self-awareness and personal development, were proponents of this practice. A Stoic journal transcends the mere logging of daily activities. It serves as a space for introspection, dialogue with oneself, and critical analysis of one's emotions, choices, and reactions in light of personal values and beliefs. It acts as a bridge between the external world and internal experiences. Imagine concluding each day by not only recounting the events that occurred, but also examining your reactions to them. Why did a particular remark irritate you? What brought joy during a mundane task? By dissecting your day in a journal, you begin to uncover patterns in your thought processes, understand what influences your emotions, discern the drivers behind your decisions, and see how your daily habits shape your life. Marcus Aurelius, the Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher, maintained a journal that later became known as Meditations. This was intended as a private tool for self-guidance, a means to remind himself of Stoic principles and to apply wisdom to the challenges of his reign. Through his writings, we witness a man grappling with his responsibilities, emotions and existential reflections. You don't need to be an emperor to benefit from Stoic journaling. In today's distraction-rich and information-overloaded environment, Dedicating time to self-reflection is crucial. Daily entries help maintain clarity and groundedness amidst chaos. This practice can yield deep insights over time. You might discover that certain situations reliably trigger stress, prompting you either to address these scenarios directly or to adjust your perspective towards them. You may also notice that practices like gratitude or mindfulness consistently enhance your well-being and positively alter your view of the world. These recurring themes can guide your personal development. Moreover, keeping a stoic journal fosters accountability. By committing to regular reflection, you hold yourself accountable for your actions, reactions and choices. This journal becomes a mirror reflecting both your external behaviors and internal states. Journaling in this way offers a practical application of stoic philosophy to everyday life. It becomes a journey of self-discovery aligning your actions with your values, and crafting a life of purpose and meaning. It teaches us that we are responsible for our actions and choices. Continuously confronting the same mistakes through journal entries makes them harder to ignore, pushing us to learn, adapt, and evolve. A stoic journal is akin to having a wise friend constantly by your side, one that listens, assists, and guides you. It is a commitment to enhancing self-understanding living authentically in accordance with one's values and personal growth.